I've spoken and written before about the customization options one has if you buy the Adams Custom Euphonium. Now they have a standard model that's built to be more affordable for most people that has a set set of options, the ones that most people want. But if you want to customize it, they will certainly do that for you. In my case, I had them add Amato style water keys. They're a little bit more efficient and let the air flow more freely. What I also did though, was change the placement of them. It's awkward, I think, to have to manipulate a normal euphonium the way they're usually set up to empty all the slides. So I'll show you what I've done on mine. I have the water keys placed at the very bottom of the curve rather than about at this angle like we're used to. That means I can hold the horn upright. I have one also on the second valve, which helps me empty that more easily than pulling on the ring that's on most of them and emptying it out and putting it back in. So when you empty this one especially, you don't want the horn tipped because it will drip right on the slides below it. And the third slide, as you see, has that same positioning. On the tuning slide back here, I've chosen the standard positioning because when you're playing, that's normally the one you'll empty quickly and you're already holding the horn at this angle. So then you can just leave the, the horn the same angle and empty the key like that. But for the front three slides, I think it's much more efficient to empty them when they're this way. Let me show you here. I'm gonna back the camera off. When I want to empty them, I simply hold the horn up. And I'm done. If there's something in the fourth, I can also do that down here, but that doesn't get too much water in it. I've been testing this new Wessex instrument and it's set up the way most euphoniums are with standard water keys here and here and a pull ring on the second slide. The water keys uh, spout, if you will, is position standard. So you can empty those this way and then you have to pull the slide here to empty it. Now that's not as quick for me to do those. So I find that standard setup a little bit slower. It's also a little bit uglier, if you will, for the audience. They don't like to think about people emptying water out. So when you, when you take this out and go like this, as many people do, um, it just makes it more obvious what you're doing. Where a simple motion like I'm doing here, of just pushing a button on my atoms, is a little bit more subtle for the audience and I think a more pleasing effect. It's also quicker, it's just plain quicker, which is why I like it. Thanks for listening.